Hallelujah. For the Lord God, omnipotent reigned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God. Omnipotent reigned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, for many poor and reigned. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, for many poor and reigned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Good evening, good evening, and Hallelujah for the Lord God. Omnipotent reign it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God. Omnipotent reign it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent reigned. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. A very good evening to you, saints of God. I see you, Sister Edla Bro Adams. Fancy and Oba, I welcome you in the name of Jesus. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your dedication to this fellowship. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. How was your day? I believe your day was awesome. I believe your day was good. Praise God. Mine was also fabulous and i give god the glory that i'm able to make it back to this platform tonight i told us in the morning that i would love to come online today again to share the word of god with us and um, just for a few minutes i just want us to to look into the word of god as we are preparing to retire for the day as we are preparing to Go and have our night rest. Uh, this is precisely 11 past 9, uh, 9 p.m. South African time. And um, almost, I mean, usually by this time, around 10 o'clock, between now and 12, I should be sleeping. But um, I want to uh, keep to my promise to be online again this evening. And here am I. God bless you for tuning in in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want us to I want us to fellowship together briefly uh, before we call it a day. I want us to fellowship together briefly. And you may have seen the description of this broadcast. And um, it's actually a question. What kind of mind do you have? What kind of mind do you have? It turns out that a lot of people will not make heaven because of the kind of mind they have. Okay. All right. Omos Stella, good evening. God bless you. I see you. Thank you. And uh, uh, you are most welcome. So what kind of mind do you have? 
it turns out that a lot of people will not go to heaven because of the mind they have because of the kind of mind they have a lot of people will not see the kingdom of god because of the kind of mind they have a lot of people may never get blessed because of the kind of mind they have a lot of people may never escape suffering in their lives because of the kind of mind they have now this is really very interesting to know that somebody's destiny somebody's entire destiny could be jeopardized because of the mindset they have some have very wicked mind some have kind mind some have a loving mind some have a very wonderful wonderful mind now when you look into the world out there you see all kinds of people all kinds of people with different kind of mind tonight i'm not talking to every body in the world i'm not talking to every single user of this platform of which we know there are billions of people that are using this platform i'm talking to believers i'm talking to people in the church i'm talking to pastors church leaders i'm talking to um brothers and sisters who are in the prayer warrior team brothers and sisters who occupy different posts and positions in the church some are in the evangelism department some are in the welfare department some are in some arms of the ministry that they really feel comfortable with the question today is what kind of mind do you have is it the kind of mind that will hinder you from making heaven is it the kind of mind that god will behold at the end of time he will say to you go away from here get behind me i don't know you you are so wicked i don't want anything to do with you is it the kind of mind jesus says jesus says not everyone that says to me lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven you know i believe that jesus said that based on the kind of mind people have you 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 might find yourself sitting in the church or sitting amongst the brethren clapping hands to the lord singing hallelujah praising god and praying together but it will interest you to know that not everyone that came to the house of worship with you have the same kind of mind as you i'm so heartbroken to learn of a brother of a brother in a certain church that i'm not going to name this brother learned that the the church choir the entire church choir wants to make a trip to i think is united states of america there's a concert a sort of uh in america and the, the, they wanted to feature the choir of this church so the brother opted to help procure the visa for everyone including the pastor and his wife and the entire praise and worship team the entire choir nobody knew what this brother had in mind nobody knew that the brother did not really want to help get the visa for everyone nobody knew that his intention his he had an ulterior motive 
and being a brother in the church that people knows of course to agree with such a person it must be somebody that is recognized in the church but look what happened the church popped out a lot of money and gave him and say take this money we know you can do this we rely on you we count on you gave him the money to go and begin the whole process he collected their passports and he had the passport he had the money and the moment the money got into his hands this supposedly faithful brother disappeared in thin air he vanished with the money he disappeared with the church money the money that was given to him to help secure visas for this choir he took the money and vanished <laughs> oh, oh jesus how could somebody do that to a whole church he did not only disappear with the church money he also disappeared with their with their passports including with his including his pastors and and, and the, the pastor's wife's passport look at that kind of mind i also heard of another brother that was given a lot of money to to procure computers and equipments for his church actually the church took a loan borrowed money from the bank and gave to this brother and they said brother please take this money go and and uh, make sure you organize this equipment for us the money was about half a million rands it's a lot of money brothers and sisters he took that money and disappeared the last, the last time I heard from the pastor who gave him the money, he said that the church, as at that time, the church was still paying back the loan. The brother that took the money to buy computers for the church and other equipment was nowhere to be found. Till today, is nowhere to be found. Look at that kind of mind. When people begin to suffer in life, when people begin to suffer in life, men and brethren will focus only on the suffering. Praying for them. But failing to ask a question, how did this whole thing come about? How could somebody rob the people of God and the church of God entirely? Bad mind. Bad mind. So many people that call the name Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So many of them have very bad mind so many brethren in the church has the potential the capacity to do unprintable things hey heaven will be a surprise a lot of people will not make heaven because of their mindset the mind is likened to a battleground, a place where all manner of battles takes place. The mind. If the devil wants to attack your faith, he will go for the mind. If the devil wants to stop your vision, if the devil wants to stop you, he will come for your mind. 
If the devil wants to strip you of your glory and dignity, he will come for your mind. That is when he will begin to bombard your mind with all kinds of horrific, abominable images. And you will be hearing voices, voices, voices in your mind. Telling you to do things, even though you know that these things goes directly against the principles and the precepts of the Lord. Tonight, God assured me that He's going to renew our minds, He's going to change our minds. Some of us are going to receive a new mind tonight. What kind of mind do you have? Is it the kind of mind that is full of anger and grudges? Anger and grudges. Anger and grudges. Have these things filled your mind? Anger and grudges. No wonder. So many believers' prayers are hindered. No wonder it looks like they call upon God and God seems very far away. Because the mind is so filled with bitterness, filled with grudges. The mind is so filled with anger towards somebody, anger towards a brother, anger towards a sister. If your mind is that kind of a mind, you are prone to demonic attacks. They will not spare you. They will attack you day and night. Why? Because your mind is contrary, contrary to the word of God to the will of God your your mind is literally against God with all this bitterness and grudges and all of that hatred hatred in your mind those things can open a kind of portal to your life through which devil and his cohorts may enter and wreak great havoc in your life. There is something about the mind. To even get answers to your prayer, it has to do with the mind. The right conditioning of your mind can determine whether your prayers will be answered or not. That is where the very, that is where the very root of faith is found in the mind. In the mind. Oh, they said there are there are giants in that land, and we look like grasshopper. We look very small before these giants. But somebody said we are able to go up and take the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. In his mind, he didn't see himself small. He's all here. In the mind. In his mind, though the giants were too huge and many, but we are able to conquer. Is all in the mind. What kind of mind do you have? Is it a fearful mind? Fear is a spirit and it has torment. The devil can't just can't just you know, bump into you and begin to attack you, begin to beat you black and blue, if he does not conquer you first with intimidation. He will inflict fear on you first and then he will launch his attack. And fear is a thing of the mind. Just let go of your fears, whatever it might be you are scared of. Just let it go. Remove it from your mind. Remove it from your mind. Remove it from your mind. You don't need to be afraid of anything because 
by being afraid by being afraid you are opening doors for what you fear to happen to you job cried and said ah oh my god men and brethren what i fear most has happened to me look at that what i fear has happened to me what he was afraid of eventually happened to him let the fear go out of your mind is it a fearful mind that you have what kind of mind is it that is in you let it go all right a fearful mind just let it go a mind full of hatred you need to change it tonight and i'm going to show you what the word of god says concerning the kind of mind i should have concerning the kind of mind that you should have follow me to the scriptures philippians chapter 2 verse 5 look what the word of god says let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus as believers in christ as sons and daughters of the living god as children of god born again christians there is a kind of mind that we should have not every kind of mind not the kind of mind of the world there is a kind of mind that we should have you need to understand that and you need to guide yourself from those who may come around you to poison your mind against someone else unbelievers are very good at that yes unbelievers are very good at poisoning the heart of one against another it doesn't matter whether they are in the church an unbeliever is an unbeliever those days in the Sunday school, growing up as a young preacher, I remember the day we were taught about missed multitude. Missed multitude in the church. Missed multitude in the church. That day I wept throughout the meeting. And even when I got home, I wept so much in my room. And it turns out that everything we were taught back in the day is what we have now. Missed multitude. Everybody is professing to be born again, child of God. Look on Facebook. Facebook, Facebook stories. YouTube stories all over. You see, you see sisters exposing their entire body with their entire bodies exposed. The laps exposed. The chest exposed. Dressed seductively. But they are quoting scriptures, calling themselves Jesus girls. They dress like harlots, harlots, harlots. 
but they call themselves children of God. <laughs> the days are gone when somebody would dress so inappropriate to enter the house of God and will be told at the gate to turn back and go. They say, come as you are. Come as you are. Why won't why wouldn't that be the case? Because most pastors want money. They just want you to enter and drop that offering there. That is all they care about. They don't care about the brothers in the church that will be tempted to look. The brothers in the church that will commit adultery right away by looking at these people and lusting after them in the presence of the Lord. Look at that. Missed multitude. Missed multitude. Oh, the revival was so great. I mean, the conference was so powerful. The preacher preached so well. I don't care. All I want is to know how many souls were won in that service. If nobody made a decision for Christ, it doesn't matter how well the preacher preached. It doesn't matter how well the musicians and the singers sang, the keyboardists, the instrumentalists played so wonderfully. It doesn't matter. It is a waste of time. No matter how, how powerful and how awesome the conference was, if nobody made the decision for Christ, brother, sister, you just went there to waste your time and to throw away your money. The whole essence of church is to save the lost. The whole essence of the church is to lead men to Jesus. The whole essence of the church is to give that criminal a new mind. That is the whole essence of the church. A church where criminals enter and sit comfortably is not a church. It's an entertainment center. All right? It's an entertainment center. The congregation that lacks the ability to change the mind of a non-believer is void of God, is void of the Holy Spirit. God is not there. If you live a wrong lifestyle and your church could not convict you nor change you, I dare you today, leave that church. God is not there. Salvation is all that Jesus came to give. Many have merchandised the gospel. Many have migrated from salvation to a strange gospel. Gospel that has no impact, positive impact on men. Gospel that does not propel an unbeliever to change his mind and change his evil ways. A gospel that does not call believers back to the altar. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. There is a kind of mind that we should have. Mm -hmm. A kind of mind, our mind should be different. It is a mind that has no intention to do harm to anybody. It is a mind that has no intention to rob a fellow brother. 
It is a mind that has no bitterness in it. It is a mind that has no hatred, no grudges, no lust in it. That is the kind of mind that we should have. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. The mind of Christ is a pure mind. Is a holy mind. Is a mind that rejoices with they that are rejoicing. A mind that mourn with they that are mourning. So many have such a wicked mind that if any good thing happened to somebody they know, they will not be happy. They will not celebrate the person. They will not rejoice. Mm -hmm. What kind of mind do you have? I am led by the Spirit of God to come online today and ask you, what kind of mind do you have? What kind of mind do you have? I desire the mind of Christ. A fearless mind. A loving mind. A mind that meditates only on that which is pure, that which is holy, that which is acceptable to God, that which is noble. A clean mind. A stress-free mind, knowing that indeed, God is in charge of my life. Not a xenophobic mind. Not a racist mind. A mind that sees everybody as one and equal in the sight of God. It doesn't matter whether you are white or black. It doesn't matter whether you are rich or poor. It doesn't matter whether you are gorgeously dressed or dressed in rags. It doesn't matter whether you eat in a, you eat with a golden spoon or or a wooden spoon. A mind that sees. All as equal and as one before God. That is the problem that we have in the, in the world today. Even in the church. I am better than this one. I am better than that one. I am better than you. I am better than this one. I know better than you. I know better than this one. Oh, come on. That's not the kind of mind. That is in Christ Jesus. The word of God admonishes us. To renew our mind. The word of God admonishes us. To adopt the mind of Christ. And make it ours. Read about Jesus. Read about Jesus. He stood for one thing. That was the salvation of man. Showing man the way. Calling a spade a spade. Calling evil a evil. He never called black white. A sincere mind. A holy mind. A trustworthy mind. It breaks my heart these days to see that most people cannot deal with fellow brother, fellow Christian with a free mind. Ask them, they will tell you, ah, nobody can be trusted. Somebody even said that during warfare, warfare, during warfare, like we do warfare in the church, Warfare prayer. That during warfare, everybody is a suspect. Look at that. During warfare, even in the church, everybody is a suspect. Seriously? Just look at that statement. Meaning that you cannot even trust your brother in the Lord, the person sitting next to you, 
So this person in the church who all along has been praising the Lord, singing hallelujah, clapping hands with you, could be a potential suspect. Could be the witch responsible for all your suffering and struggles. Look at that. It should not be so. The church is supposed to be a place of joy and peace where you will enter and be comforted. Is it, it is true that the enemy has crept into the church. There are many Judases in the church. There are many agents of darkness in the church. There are many believers who are beginning to manifest on likely characters. And those I am here to speak to. What kind of mind do you have? What kind of mind do you have? Let me talk to believers who have vowed never to do good to anyone again because those you did good to in the past failed you. They took advantage of you. Please change that mindset. Never stop doing good because somebody took your goodness for granted. Don't stop being good. Don't stop being good. Don't stop being good. Because you heard that a certain pastor or prophet committed fraud should not be the reason why you will never, you will never support the church nor the ministry again. Please change that mindset. Please change that mindset. Do good whenever you can, however you can, according to your ability. Excuse me. According to your ability. That is the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. That is the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. So before I end this stream as I'm about to, I just want you to ask yourself, what kind of mind do I have? Are you the same? Are you still the same, the same in the Lord? Or have you changed? What are those changes that have taken place in your life? Are you now beginning to conform to the world? Are you now starting to copy the lifestyle of the world? Check yourself. The scripture urges us to examine ourselves. Look at yourself. Review yourself. Take a review of yourself. Take an history of yourself. Are you still the same God-loving, holy, righteous, loving, kind brother that we used to know what has changed do not let the world convert you do not do not conform to the world do not do not mimic the world in any way let the mind which is in Christ Jesus be in you in the name of Jesus in Jesus name raise your right hand wherever you are watching this raise your right hand and say this I receive the mind of Christ today I receive the mind of Christ today and I reject worldly mind Bitter mind. Mind full of grudges. Hateful mind I reject. In the name of Jesus. I reject fearful mind. In the name of Jesus. I reject the mind. That is not of God. 
I reject stressful mind. I reject dirty mind in the name of Jesus. I reject every mind that is full of immorality. I reject it in the name of Jesus. I reject the mind that harbors hatred and unforgiveness. I reject that mind in the name of Jesus. I reject the mind that has become a playground for the devil. I reject that mind today. In the name of Jesus, I accept the mind of Christ. The same mind which was in Christ Jesus, I receive today. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I pray for you today with assurance in me that a new mind has been given to you and that is the mind of Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, receive that mind. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed today. You are blessed and highly favored. You are blessed and highly favored. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope this message has blessed you. I hope you are blessed. Please, guide your heart with all diligence. Guide your mind. Oh yes, a new mind has been given to you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Do not let the devil, do not let the devil take hold of your mind. Please, do not let the devil take hold of your mind. See, the devil will always use people. The devil can always use people to come with provocation. They will come to provoke you. Just to make you, just to make you hate someone. Please guide your mind. All right? Guide your mind. Not a mind that is full of lies. The mind of Christ Jesus. That's what we've been told to receive in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed and highly favored. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you for your time. And I will be live again in the morning for DEFPP, uh, our daily effectual fervent prophetic prayers. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, be, you will be live with me tomorrow morning as we pray together. I know God is going to do marvelous things in our lives as we pray together tomorrow. Be sure to join us in the morning and that should be roughly 10 hours from now. No, 9 hours from now, we'll be live again. We'll be live again on this page to pray. We pray every morning. And I encourage you to join us tomorrow morning. Invite your family and friends. Believe God for something. Believe God for a testimony. For with God, nothing, and I mean nothing, shall be impossible. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I will not forget to ask, how have you been since this um pandemic started how have you been how are you coping wow what a year i know it really hasn't been easy but the lord is your strength the lord is your strength i know there is a a massive massive job losses a lot of people have lost their jobs and there are so many that have been infected 
Oh, good night, Sister Edla. God bless you. You really need to rest. You really need to rest. Get some rest. Mm -hmm. May God bless you. Please, saints of God, be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe and obey the authorities uh, with respect to COVID regulations. Please be safe. Take care of yourself. Nothing will happen to you and your family. Be safe. Be safe. I trust the Lord to protect you always and to take good care of you. In the name of Jesus. Stay blessed. I love you with the love of the Lord. Hey, I'm going to go get some rest now. I will see you again in the morning. God bless you. I love you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful night. Be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Facebook is not allowing me to see all the names at the same time. And as many that are commenting, there are quite a lot of you watching right now. I love you all in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all your support and prayers. Oh, Pansy, Jenny. Uh, good night and God bless you too. Happy Feliz Anumba, uh, Edla, uh, Rebecca Love. May God bless you. Join me again tomorrow morning. It shall be fire for fire. In Jesus' name. I love you so much. I love you so much. But Jesus loves you the most. Have a good night.